Rio, you want to come say hi? Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, Rio, you want to come say hi? Come say hi to puppies. Rio. 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 Oh, yeah, she's not in here, bud. Rio. Rio. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> um, you were just putting my route outside, and then he was bringing Rio through, and Rio came running over to say hello, but he didn't want to stay. Um, oops, that was too much. Sorry. Um, but good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Um, puppies are doing really, really, they're doing, they're so great. They're such awesome puppies. Um, they're 13 days old today. Um, for anybody who may be just joining us, um, they're Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Their, their mom looks kind of like Panda. And their dad... Looks like Miss Rose here. And um, parents that are those colors usually have puppies of every color. So we've got lots of colors. Why do I feel like I'm missing a puppy? Whoa, there she is. There she is. We've got to do their potty training exercises. We've got to do their noon, their noon potty in. So I know we're like getting, we're diving right in. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to start the stream. I know I was running a little bit behind, so I apologize. Um, and so we started their potty training a couple days ago now. Um, we are kind of taking advantage of the reflex they have to potty. Um, this is how mom potties them. She massages they're little privates. And so we have found that when we massage like right here, like just above, um, it has the same reaction. The reflex um, allows their sphincters to relax and they can go potty. And so we're, um, with their eyes still closed, we, we're trying to expose them to the pine pellets, um, the scent and the sensation on their paws. Um, so that way, um, as they get a little bit older, um, and mom's not cleaning up their mess. Oh my goodness, look at all that poo on your cheek. <laughs> Talk about mom not being here to clean her up. Look at the shoe. Oh, I smell poop. Um, and her, she keeps them so clean. Robin's puppies, one of our Blenheim moms, um, by about a week old, we always have to give them a bath because this poo that you see right here, it stains really badly. It's like this yellow kind of color. And, um, especially our Blenheims, their whole little hineys and their tails will be, will get this yellow sort of stain. Um, even the cleanest of moms still can't help but um, let the little bum holes stain for a couple weeks. Um, but Myra's done such a good job keeping them clean that nobody's got any bum hole stains. Look how clean that bum hole is. Um, so... Um, um, we're having reservations for these puppies on Saturday. Um, Drew and I have been talking with some families, um, kind of behind the scenes a little bit. Um, uh, um, if you're a prospective family, if you are interested in putting a request in to reserve one of our puppies, um, um, you can send us a message, send us a text message, um, I know it sounds like a little weird, um, but the thing is, is that, uh, you know, with 15 dogs of our own and with a litter of puppies um, and multiple families that we're trying to converse with, um, you know, we usually have, it's like an ongoing dialogue that we usually have with families um, rather than like an hour long phone call and another hour long phone call. We just keep an ongoing dialogue and it's a lot easier and more efficient because Drew and I, we can feed the dogs. We can, um, you know, if we get a text message or if there's somebody we're working on replying to, 
we can usually type it up real quick and then send it through and then get back to, um, you know, and then, you know, pull the puppies out of the pen, get them outside. Um, um, our big puppies, <laughs> not these ones. Um, but it's just a lot easier because with a phone call, we have to kind of drop what we're doing. Um, but if family um, that, especially for families that have already, um, that we've already spoken to, um, it's a lot easier for you guys to get your questions answered um, that way, just because we can, we can respond between tasks and, um, you know, we can kind of keep the conversation going. We don't ever like shut it off. Um, and it's just a lot easier because there's so many different things that we're doing at any given time between um, dogs and our kids that it's just um, text messages have made a lot, a lot of this a lot easier um, because you're not going to know all of your questions in one go. You know, you're going to come up with more and probably like the biggest thing right now is just that families have, you know, as the puppies are getting bigger, they have more questions or they want clarification on something we said on the stream. Um, and so we, we want to answer your questions. We don't want you to be more confused after watching things um, on the live stream. And so please don't be afraid to send us a message. Um, um, in fact, if you want to send us a message to both of our numbers, that's how we usually do it with our families. So like after reservations, we'll make sure that the chat is a group chat between Drew and myself and then you, you and your family. Um, because that way then, uh, you know, he and I can answer different questions. He knows certain things better than I do and vice versa. And then if, if it's you and your husband or you and your wife, um, same thing for you guys, if you're both at work, um, you know, and your wife has a question, um, you send it to the chat that you have set up with us. Um, you guys will both see it and then you guys will both get our responses. And so it's just a lot more efficient and it makes it a lot easier for us to get to all the families because we have a lot of families with, uh, with, you know, a lot of the same questions, but a little bit different. Um, you know, I mean, you know how it goes. A lot of, a lot of times there's kind of variations. So with other details. Come here, Miss Paddle. You guys are so cute. All right, can you go potty? Can you go potty, Miss Paddle? Good girl. Good go potty. Good go potty. Good girl. Good girl. Myra came running around the corner until she saw me potty. Hi, sweetie. You want to come clean her up? Good girl. I'm curious who pooped on Miss Rosie. Not to potty her? All right. So. Here. Myra. Myra. All right. She's gonna, she looks like she's pooping. It's funny as the moms can usually tell who needs to poop. And so the puppy won't be pooping yet, but she'll know who to go up to and who needs that stimulation to go. It's kind of crazy. Their sense of smell is just that good. Can you go potty, Miss Rose? Good girl. Good go potty, sweetheart. Good girl. Let's get those feet. Let's. Girl. But, um, you know, there's, this is little more than um, what's Pavlov's dog. It's like little more than just the same concept. We just want to teach them to associate the smell of the pellets, the feel of the pellets, want them to associate that with waste. Um, so that way, when they're doing it on their own, when they're having to make that conscientious decision, um, pellets comes to mind. That That's what makes sense to them. Go potty. Go potty. Good girl, Panda. Good girl, potty. She's like, hi, mom. Hey, sweetie, you're such a good girl. Who's fussing down there, huh? You wanna do avocado? Puppies are doing really well with their potty training, too. Um, 
the first day, usually they're a little more squirmy. Um, it's unfamiliar. And the, the scent of the pellets is pretty strong. And so I can imagine that their nose is being as sensitive as they are. It's probably a kind of a big, it's like a, a big disruption. Oh my goodness, we're soaking wet. Come here, Myra. Let's, let's, oh, not my fingers, him. Thank you. He's still going. He's still going. Good girl. Nope, he's still going. He's still going. He's still going. Myra, Myra. Myra. <laughs> Sometimes they just, they just do what's good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Story of this household. Yep. Oh, oh, that's a big love yawn. Their yawns. Go oh, potty. Oh. oh, and I love their purrs. Yeah, little... uh, go potty. Hold on, Rose. I think good that, boy. Good go potty. I think that the uh, dogs have found a mouse in our firewood. Oh, oh, that so much would make more sense. Yeah, then they just make a because they were just in one spot. I wonder pack. if it's that m mouse that you were. Yeah, that, that, he must have a family in there. Because they got that one. Or they got they brought one to us. Yeah. Um, I took a lot of pictures yesterday, too, and I also took some footage. I wanted to send families some photos. Um, it's difficult to send a lot of footage, um, whether it's through email, text message, just because it uses so much data. Um, and with so many different puppies, you know, we're usually sending more. Um, but I found that um, <laughs> sneaky phone companies... Um, every time, so I would take a video of like, you know, the girls, for instance, and we would have like 18 families to send them to. And so, um, I had some families that wanted specific videos on specific puppies. And then I had the bigger video, with the whole litter. And I only noticed it was like a year later that I'd been doing that sort of routine with every litter. Come to find out that every time you send um, a document, a photo, or a video, your phone resaves it as, um, if you have an iPhone, you may be familiar with the feature where when you send somebody something, you can go into their contact card and you can see everything you have sent, all the attachments you've sent each other. And so every time I sent an attachment to every single family, that video was saved, you know, seven times over onto my phone with and under each contact. And so when I went through and deleted everything, there were some videos that, because we had so many families at different times, um, we, I had an eight minute video that was saved 19 times, 20 times maybe, um, just from last fall when we had the three litters. But it was, it blew my mind just how much space was being taken up because of Excuse that. <laughs> and me. so that's why um, these videos that I'm working on, I'm gonna post to YouTube um, and I'm gonna let YouTube wor worry about storage. <laughs> Um, and then it's easier, too, for families to access. It's just in a central spot for everybody. Um, and then yeah. if anybody has questions, you know, there's the comments and, you and, know, it's just a lot. And not only that, but when, you, when, when an Apple device sends a video to an, uh, a non-Apple device, it uh, squishes the the file down. That's why you oh, get like the, yeah. the tiny little ones that you can't see anything and the audio is really crummy and Oh yeah, and they're like super choppy and blurry. Yeah, yeah. That's just it going through well, SMS. Michael, they even send them on devices. <laughs> that is true. Oh, and that's what I wanted to talk about too. <clears throat> Nobody go away. I'm just washing my hands. This <laughs> is washing the doo doo. Hi. Oh just just pee pee. Yeah, but everybody had to poop this morning. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Everybody, and even just now, um, Rose, poor Rose, had poop all on her cheek. Oh, oh no, poor yeah. Rose. 
Did mommy clean it up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I cleaned it up. Oh. <laughs> um, but um, for reservations on Saturday, um, oh, I does... wanted to. Huh? You're right. It does smell like yeah. puppy poop over here. Oh, um, let me back up just a teensy bit. Um, before reservations. So if you have not reached out to us via text message, um, think, oh, look how sore she is right here. I know, that one, I think it's been getting. Let's give that one a break. Yeah. And this one too. Do you want to put like some tape over or something? Well, we'll just no make sure that they leave it alone. Get my other nipples. Why, why is that one so red? These ones are doing well down here. That one's nice and full. Well, let me flip her over then. Sorry, my um, I'm gonna do a little flipperoo. I was describing just a little bit ago the, how much easier it is to communicate with families uh, via text message, group chat specifically. Um, just because it's so much easier if we have a message pop through, you know, when we're like doing the live stream, even, you know, we can hold up our phone, we can answer a question on the live stream. Um, it's just a lot easier than um, phone calls. Um, not to say we, we are opposed to phone calls, we just prefer to schedule them um, so that we can kind of block out that section of the day. Um, but if we have a few families that we are um, texting right now, um, kind of just as they have questions that come up. And so if we do not have a text chain with you guys, or if there are any families that um, don't have any text chains, um, you don't have one with me or with Drew going, um, please don't be afraid to start one or you can message one of us and we will add um, the other person. But um, um, my phone number, our, num our phone numbers are nearly identical except for the very last digit. Um, but my phone number is, is area code 815-883-1134. And then Drew's is 815-883-1133. So, um, so 1133-1134. Yep. 33 and 34. So, um, but it's a lot easier because, you know, some families, will, they'll just be watching the live stream during the day and they'll say, oh, you know, and so-and-so just did this. Have, you know, what do you think about this puppy versus that puppy? And, um, and it's just so much easier to provide context or... Um, clarify details or just give an opinion if, if families um, are curious about, you know, an updated opinion with the puppies growing each day, you know, they, they change a little bit, they change a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, they do change a lot of it in uh, a 24 hour period. Um, but um, I don't, I think I took our phone numbers off of the website with the exception of one spot that's kind of tricky to find anyway. <laughs> They do. <laughs> um, or maybe it's it's the very bottom on the main page, but it it says iPhone users here and then Samsung, et cetera, users here. And that's, so that's where you can find, if you find that spot, that's where you can find our phone numbers. Um, but there are personal cells. So um, just be mindful, I think, of the time. Um, we have had families in the past who yeah. message, push through, or force through the bedtime setting yeah. at like 2 a.m., <laughs> So, uh, yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So if you could just keep it like before 9 PM, that, that would be appreciated. But, um, the puppies, my goodness, they're so close to opening their eyes. Mr. Avocado is, it's going to be a race between him and Petal. Oh, really? Yeah. If not pan, cause like Panda, I swore you could see the little, like oh, yeah. little reflection, mm -hmm. but I don't know. So. Maybe it's always hard to see uh, whenever a puppy is has like uh, black around their eyes. It's always hard to tell. Especially, I think that these two are gonna. It's gonna be very hard to see their their eyes. Here. Once they eat a little bit, we'll bring them closer to the camera so you guys can can yeah, get your daily update on. Yeah, because usually uh, when their eyes start to peel open, it starts like right here, like where your your, your tear ducts would be uh, on the inside of your eye. And then you start to slowly see like a little crack there, and then it just slowly widens. It's a little pinhole at yeah, first. Yeah, it starts out as a tiny little pinhole, and then it just 
slowly widens a little bit, a little bit. Some of them now will like pop over. Yeah, just, we'll just wake up one morning yeah. and then they're looking at we'll you. be yeah, we'll like you know they're they're sleepy in the morning and so they'll be a little groggy and we won't notice it right away until we are like really getting up close with one in particular and they, they will just be looking right back at us yeah, and we thought their eyes were closed the whole time. <laughs> And so, um, but the puppies are all doing really well with their, with their potty training. Um, the first day they were very wiggly. They weren't keen about it. And now they're, um, and it's only been, this is our third day. Um, I mean, usually. It's not even been a full hole. Well, I mean, this uh, might be like the third day, yeah, just... but, um, they're, they're a lot calmer. They're, um. They seem to be a lot more adjusted to it. And so I'm I'm hoping that they have a very smooth transition to the tray because like last fall we had so many puppies that it was impossible to stay on top of yeah, the, the exercises to be every hour on the hour because we were just we were at this pool, that With pool, the next pool. Fourteen. And then we had puppies. fifteen minute break yeah. and then back to the, the, the potty training. So yeah. um I think that um this is these guys are gonna have a much more solid foundation yeah yeah last late fall early winter with 14 puppies was just very difficult to make sure that we were getting everything done perfectly like and things did not get done perfectly yeah <laughs> yeah but these guys they are perfect in every way they are such a great little litter i'm gonna grab us uh, some water. Okay. Do you, do you need anything from the nope. room? I do not. Wait, where did it go? Um, what did I want to say? Uh, there's something I want to talk about this morning, and I was thinking about it last night, and I can't remember what it was. Shoot, it was like something I wanted to like clarify or give context. I can't remember. Um, I'm working on videos um, today. And so um, in the videos, you can kind of see examples from our last letter, our previous letters. But I like to, um, I think I'm going to do a girl's video and a boy's video. And um, I'll, I'll just be talking about um, their markings, how their markings will kind of change from basically between now and adulthood. Um, and generally speaking, I'll go over each puppy on their own, but just generally speaking, um, the tricolors, the black expands a lot. Um, and the white that they do have usually reduces quite a bit. Um, we like to look back on puppies that have grown up and they're adults. And we like to look back at their baby photos and they always look so much brighter because they have so much more white comparative to um, the other color that they have on them. Um, Blenums are the same way, just not to the same degree. And so um, like Rio is a, he's a pretty good example. I really need to, I've been wanting to start like a side-by-side -side, um, photo album. Um, or I could even, I think it would be a photo album. I can start doing, making side-by-side -side photos um like when we did the split screen live stream where photos of the puppy as um a baby like this age and then photos of them as an adult so you guys can see have a better idea of how the markings change and kind of evolve um but generally speaking the color um whether it's chestnut or black it's going to expand um and kind of bleed into the white and so like like with panda Right here, she's got um, she's got some areas where I can already kind of tell, like this white right here is probably going to disappear. These two dots um, will probably join together and make one solid smudge. Um, and she's got like a little, like sort of a spot right here. I don't know if you can even call that a spot. That will be long gone by the time she's an adult. Um, her blaze has narrowed very quickly. And when she was born, um, I didn't think her blaze would, um, disappear like Myra's, but, um, and I still don't think it's going to disappear quite like Myra's, but I think she's going to have a very narrow blaze, um, because it's, it's, it's thinning out very quickly, much faster than I expected. 
Um, and the black and tans, their white will also reduce. Um, the um, Mr. Cappuccinos, he's got little like white buttons on his tummy. And unfortunately, I don't know if those are going to stay. I think they're so cute. And so I don't want them to go. Um, like puppies who, let's see his petal. Her thumbprints look like puppies who have um, a couple of thumbprints on the tops of their head. They will oftentimes join together and make like a sort of bridge, um, which is actually a really pretty look because as adults, how that looks is they have their blaze on their face and then um, there's a top to the blaze. It doesn't just keep going down the back of their neck. And so it stops and there's a top. And so it really kind of like it rounds their face, like it shapes it a little bit. Um, kind of like in the same way that when you put bangs on a child or you do, you, you shape their hair around like a little girl's face. Um, that's kind of what the thumbprint does to their, their head when they join like that. And the top of the blaze then is right there. Um, and so Theo, um, in Rio's litter or one of our Paris puppies was a really beautiful example. Amelia too. Amelia is another really beautiful example of she was, when she was born, you could see, you could count all the different thumbprints. Um, but as she grew, they all joined together. And so when you look at her, especially a picture taken kind of from the top, um, you know, it looks like the top of her head is just chestnut. And then you see the blaze start. And it's it's really pretty because it just, it rounds out their face a little bit. It just kind of balances it. And so personally, I think it's really pretty. Um, but there's also people who um, just don't really care for, um, they want, they want the thumbprint to be um, correct. They don't want, they don't want multiple thumbprints or, um, you know, some people just, they have, you know, their preferences. And so there's nothing the matter with that. Um, it's just that um, when we choose our moms and dads, we are going more for, um, we talked, when we talk to the breeders, we explain that um, health temperament um, disposition. Those are our priorities. And then, um, it's a big bonus if they're cute. Um, and I mean, we don't, we don't get a mom or a dad that we think is ugly. Um, but because our priorities are health and temperament and appearance is third on the list. Um, you know, sometimes that means that we'll have a, a puppy or two that maybe didn't hit the genetic lottery. Um, at least in terms of appearance, but, um, with Myra, I, I mean, all of her puppies are adorable, but, um, you know, when we're not, um, when we're not prioritizing like the breed standard appearance, you'll have things like multiple thumbprints. Um, in fact, Petal's got the multiple thumbprints. Hers are really cute because she's got two. So she's probably going to have that little bridge that I talked about. Um, you can see that they're already kind of joining. And so her blaze will end. And so you kind of see what I'm talking about in her face. Um, what I mean where, you know, the blaze doesn't keep going. And so it's not just like an endless little road. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> but I think it really like rounds out their faces nicely. And so, um, but that's just one way how it, how their, their markings can, can develop over time. Um, you know, if we placed a higher priority on appearance, then you'd probably see more of our puppies with perfect thumbprints. Um, but I wouldn't want that to be at the expense of their temperament. So, um, I've always really liked the, um, unique, um, markings. There's, we love, we love, I should back up a little bit. We love very classical markings, like the perfect thumbprint. Like Rio is such a beautiful dog. He's very classical, um, very classical cavalier Blenheim. He's, his thumbprint is like right in the middle of his, his head and it's the perfect size. Um, and he's got real pretty markings on his face. Um, he has like just the right amount. Um, but when he was a puppy, there were two other males in the litter. And um, the two other males looked more like Petal with, with the dark chestnut that they had. Um, their, their coats, they just had a lot more um, chestnut markings. And so Rio um, was less popular in the litter. And... Um, uh, as he's grown, 
he his chestnut has expanded so much that um, he's one of those stories where we look back at him as a puppy and it's difficult to, um, you know, you have to really look to see which puppy he is because um, you don't expect them to have that much white when, when you see how much they have darkened. Um, I think Rio probably had about the same amount of chestnut that avocado has. He's such a pretty boy. He's a good boy. But like, so his markings, a lot of this is probably going to meet. So like this will meet, this will meet, these will meet, um, this will probably meet, and he'll probably end up this white right here will probably be the center of all of this chestnut that kind of becomes a solid. And so when he's an adult, he will look much darker than he did as a puppy because it will look like this chestnut all came out solid, like he had a near solid back. And so it's going to be it's going to be really cool to see him grow and how his markings change. Um and then he's also got the chestnut going down his cheeks, which I always think is really pretty. See how relaxed he is? He's awake. He's just, he's content and happy. A lot of puppies will still, um, they'll squirm and um, they won't want to be held if they're not comfortable yet with people. And so this is just more, um, more, um, what's the word? I guess more pointing toward him being a people dog, very much a people oriented puppy. Oh my gosh, you guys need to see Petal. <laughs> No, no. When Petal is an adult, I think that um, this will probably be just a small little white spot on her back. This will probably be gone. This will all that white will go away and this a dot will all just kind of become part of this. And so she'll have this little band that should stay. Um, and then this will probably just expand a bit. It might meet here. If she was a tricolor, I would say that would definitely meet there. If she were a tricolor, the bottom right here would probably, she would just have like a little bit of white right here. But she's gonna be really pretty because as her feathering grows out, um, this chestnut here is all going to be part of her feathering, and so it's going to be really long. And same with right here. She's going to have feathering right here, and so that's where her fur will be long. Um, and this will all be really long, too, the sides right here. And so when she's standing up and um, her fur is just hanging down, it won't just be white fur. It'll be the chestnut fur. You're a pretty girl, you are. Your eyes are so close to opening. What you sniffing, huh, sweetheart? What you sniffing? Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. Oh, you get your kisses. You're such a good here. girl. She's she's such a sweetheart. She is. You know, it's gonna be so pretty about her is when her feathering all grows out. Oh, man. This is all gonna, yeah. this will all be long. It's gonna be really pretty to have that chestnut feathering. Yeah, chestnut feathering going down her side. Man, because yeah. Paris, um, Paris is our mom who has that chestnut feathering on her sides, and it's so pretty. All right, who's next? Panda. Little Miss Panda. Panda also has the... She is so soft. She's like another level above the other puppies. Soft. Oh, really? You don't think that Rose is... 
Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Rose. Oh. She's just got like a soft, like I'm feeling where she's extra soft. Yeah, she's got some spots that are extra soft right down the middle. She has a really <laughs> soft. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they were able to see that. She was turning her head with her tongue sticking out a little bit. Like, oh, that feels good. <laughs> she is. Oh, she is so amazing. Yeah, she's got a big old tongue. She does. She is such a little people puppy. She loves to be held. She loves to have little um, chin scratches. She loves belly rubs. She's already enjoying the finer things in life. <laughs> You're such a good girl. She is. Unsaid all of my things, but it's the body rubs. She's still got her tongue out. <laughs> she's licking herself now. Yeah, she's yeah. licking her paws. Ah, oh, do they see her? You see her licking her paws? I taste delicious. Oh, what is that with the tongue? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> I think she's nursing an imaginary nipple. Aww. Aww. <laughs> What's oh, up? You're so cute. Oh, you're so sweet, Panda. Yes, you are. What's up, Panda? What are you looking for? Are you looking for your mama? Can you smell mama? <laughs> Like even the way they move their heads around, it reminds me of human infants because mm -hmm. of their their um their weaker muscle, their yeah. neck muscles, and so their heads kind of have that bobble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and babies like they're they've got big old noggins. They're hard to balance. You are such a good girl. Good girl. Oh, but so if any um any prospective families are watching, if you have not been um, in touch with us via text message, please don't be afraid to um, send us a message so that we can um, share videos and photos with you. Um, they've been taking a lot of videos and photos lately, and so this last like thirty six hours, not even last twelve hours, I've taken a lot of photos um, to send to families to. So you guys can see really like around your puppy, around the puppy, so you can have um, as much information as possible. Um, uh, I don't want to move them. <laughs> Sorry, Myra. Avocado, are you coming back? Are you coming back? Hi, buddy. Aww. Avocado's coming back, Dad. Aww, to you? Yeah, to me. Aww. At first I thought he was going to the puppies, but now he's coming to me. Buddy. Now you're going to turn around and go back to Mommy. I, I understand. I get it. Unless you're just going to get cozy here. You want to be held? Is it snuggles you're looking for, huh? Is it snuggles? I got lots of those. Yeah. Oh, he's such a happy boy. That was so sweet. See, these are the, these are the kinds of things that we um, want to observe because it um, it gives us a little bit of a glimpse into um, the trajectory of their personalities. Um, because there are little things that they can do. It's almost like a because there's, you know, there's certain things that are driving their behavior. And after when, when they're almost two weeks old and we've been interacting with them and um, supporting Myra um, with the puppies 
And so, you know, on day 13, then when we put one of the puppies with Myra and, you know, he turns around and comes back to me, that then lends us to believe that, you know, that's where we say that he has a high affinity for people because 13 days is, is really young to want to choose to hang out with people for a minute um, instead of mom. Um, and it's... Uh, especially interesting to me because I had just been holding him a few minutes prior to that. And then I put him back down in here and I picked someone else up and then I put him a little bit closer to Myra. And then that was when he turned around and came back over to me. Like, no like, like never you. mind. No, no, no. I <laughs> thought I thought you were picking me back up. I think you're pretty cool, actually. Hi, Rose. And Rose is like, what about me? What about me? I like to come hang out. Hi, Rose. Hi. And so this is like what Drew and I, we want to be nearby so that we can reinforce this sort of stuff. We want to reinforce to them that when they do come back to us, we're going to be here. We're ready with snuggles and loves. Um, because we want to. Cavalier, Cavaliers are extremely affectionate. They're super loyal. Um, they're like on another level compared to other breeds when it comes to um, their relationships with people. And so when they're this age and they're showing this preference for people over another dog, especially their mom, um, we really want to reinforce that. We want to make sure that they know that, um, that we are there, that we're going to be there, that we can be trusted, that we'll meet their needs. Um, you know, because they, they eventually outgrow mom and they eventually outgrow other dogs. You know, everybody is the product of the environment they grew up in. And even when it comes to animals, um, you know, as states are outlawing sales of dogs in pet stores, um, that's... Um, they're really clamping down on puppy mills. You know, they're not, they don't have places to sell their puppies. And that's a good thing um, because those places, they're not, the pu these are not those puppies' first experiences. Um, those puppies have very traumatic um, beginning days to their lives. And, you know, it, even in people, like any animals, it's a survival thing. You can't just ignore that your brain is not going to just ignore that because you need to survive and if if a puppy's brain has been taught that people are not going to be there for them that people can't be trusted um you know that's that's one reason that we we say that um you know while it can be done if you're looking for a dog specifically as an esa we don't usually recommend finding them at a shelter um because you just don't know what kind of trauma that they need healing with. Um, it's kind of hard if, if the dog needs to be healed and then you're also looking for healing. Like right. it, it is possible to happen. It's not, it's not unheard of for that, but usually it, it works a lot better if one of the party is healthy and able to help the other heal. Yeah. You can't pour from an empty cup. Oh, thanks for the kisses. That's a, yeah, I always forget about that one. You always, yeah. you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. I like, I like that one a lot. Cappuccino came over. Puppies, I love that you came over to lay with me. Love you. You are always welcome to come snuggle. Yeah. So beautiful, me as you are. Black and tans have this really pretty, like, they have these brown highlights on the tops of their heads. Oh, no. You guys have the pudgiest bellies. I love it. 
they are little pudgies. They're turning into the, the potato puppies. Potato puppies. The potato puppies. We love some potato puppies. Mom is not gentle at all. That's why at the beginning, when whenever we have a new litter and we have um, some newer viewers, we always try to warn everybody that mom is never gentle with her puppies and to not worry. Because I swear, these puppies, they could survive earthquakes, hurricanes. They could survive anything with how mom is already an earthquake. Yeah. Huh. Okie dokie. Really wanted to be picked up. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, oh. You're such good puppies. Yeah, who's a good boy? They make the best noises. And they were really quiet last night, too. I got up with them once. It was three o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to remember what it was about. What did you guys need? Oh my goodness, that almost opened your eyes. They're so loud. Wonder if it's time to start putting some snuggly something in here for them to snuggle. We've got a like this guy because they can get cozy in like the ridges. It makes it easier for them to make a puppy pile. And it can hold them together in the pile. Where are you going, Panda? You don't want to make a puppy pile? It's a little small for it to completely hold you in. What are we doing? Just trying to give them a more supportive wow. um, because avocado like he kept coming back to me to snuggle and I wanted to snuggle other puppies. Oh. And so I kind of like laid him down between puppies that so he'd be kind of like a hammock. Ah. And he just loves it. And so I wanted to put this in here so that he couldn't get cozy. Big enough for a what? lamb chop. What are you doing, Myra? Rose is so soft. Yeah. She feels like silk. Yeah, she does. It feels like you're to take some You silk can still feel down. the individual furs. Right, right. Or like sort of, like you can still you can tell that it's fur. Right, on those. But, but on, her, it's like you don't even know what you're touching. Yeah. I was saying it feels like, um, like, I don't want to say a wetsuit, but it's like that sort of like, uh, 
like seal fur, like it's very slick. I was like, all right, let me check your ticket. Yeah, I, it just feels like it doesn't feel like individual hairs. It just feels like one, um, like I can't even describe it. I know. You're such a good mama. <laughs> oh, she's like, sure, don't move, don't move, don't move. Sure, uh, no, sure, please pick down. Shouldn't have said anything. Lay down. Lay down. Don't push her head down. Okay, Myra. I have my phone ready for next time. <laughs> Perfect. You guys are. She she does this where she's like looking kind of straight ahead and then she goes like this. Yeah, like <laughs> is this good? <laughs> yeah. Are you done? Did you take it? Where's my pets? You're a good girl, Myra. Stop it. She's like, no, get my belly. Mm -hmm. Those puppies pull and tug on it. I don't like kisses on my head. I like rubs on my tummy. Petal laying on Cappuccino's head. So, uh, it is right up there with one of the best litters. She's got a knack for ruining the picture yeah, right before I get just, it. Yeah, it's almost like she's like, stop stealing their souls. <laughs> Avocado. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Why is it so warm in our room? I don't know. Oh, I know. Yeah, and he starts and stuff. Yeah. They make a really cute litter. Yes, they do. Um, I'm gonna start working on. This. Yeah, I was just thinking. Keep 
them a little bit. You can see how precious Panda is. Oh my goodness. Don't you just want to eat her? Just eat who? Panda. Oh, yeah. I spun her around and she's still in that super cute position. Oh, Drew, the other thing, one of the other things I was thinking about was all of our registration fees. All the litter registrations. Uh, uh, oh, yeah.
Do you need something to write on? No. Oh, actually, I probably do. Do you want like wine paper or? Reached out. Oh, I got disconnected. I think she replied to just the individual text for me, not the group. Uh-huh. So I'm just kind of summarizing the main person for that message because it ended up going like off the rails.
Right. <laughs> what are you talking about, puppies?
getting more potty trained. You doing, Mr. Cap? What are you doing? You need a potty? Or you need a potty up? Need a poop? Good boy. Is that what the fuss was all about? Uh, did you have to poop? Yeah. Can you go potty? Hey, we're not done. We're not done. <laughs> Oh, goodness. How did you just get... My nose rose. Hold on, cappuccino. I need to go puppy. Go puppy. He yawns. She a sleepy girl, huh? Let me scoot this over so they can get to the milk. Yep, mom's got a potty you. Good girl. Good girl. Can you get in there, Myra? Good girl. Good go potty. Good girl. Good puppy. Good puppy. Yeah. Okay, can we do avocado? He's like, oh heck no. Go potty, buddy. I know you want to eat. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Panda loves to lay the certain way with her head, or she like she like brings her chin down. That's really funny. Last drop. Nope. Okay. That's so how I noticed that she likes to lay kind of propped up a little bit. Your yin yin tail. Yeah. 
Paz.
Oh, that's what was the website. That's what was under it. Merch and that's what you can write off your Yeah, if you've got those for that, yeah. yeah. I have it just right here. It's, oh. That's the Redburn Cavalry stuff. It's all those the Redburn Cavalry stuff. Oh. But you'd be able to find a charge. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of those expenses.
remember who I didn't want to do that.
Oh, damn. Did you, for our yearly renewal, did you pay for the two years or the one year? I always think it's the two years, but every year they say that it's up for renewal. Yeah, because it said that you could save $120 if you paid the two-year and remember. I swore that when we first signed up for it, we agreed to do that. Remember that discussion? It's yeah. Like, yeah. You have to pay it on half, but said do it anyway. Yeah. I'm, I feel like they screwed that up. Okay, so there it is. September. business account. Well, the separate cards are the things that are because there's one charge for like the website maintenance. Right. And then there's another like subscription for um, the domain. There is like one is like the domain rental. It's they make it really confusing. Saw an email saying there was trouble with the renewal, but I'm guessing you took care of it. Yeah, that. I took care of that because the card was as well. Yeah, that's what I'm
Oh, here, baby. Where are sounds? What's that? Uh, your lock to your your diary book. What the ring? The ring. What they gave me the ring. Huh? What they gave me the ring. What ring? The ring you gave me when we were on the couch. I don't remember that ring. It's from the ring. Oh, shoot. What? That ring was connected to the key. The other key. No. Alright, so <clears throat> this is not the nitpicking total, but it is the total that includes the title, voter registration, um, voter season, all of Amazon. I think that's perfect. It's 4638. Oh, okay. Alright. It's lower than I thought. I have to look and see what it was last year. <laughs> And I think last year we all forgot to write off the vaccines and stuff. Yeah, and that was a thousand dollars. I don't know if you can find it. Oh, you can let me have a soda. Oh, no, that's not the way that works. Oh. Well, what's wrong? Why can't oh, I mean, she can have a soda. It's, uh, it was the, 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 you can help me find the uh -oh. remote if you give me a soda. <laughs> Look at you, silly puppies. <clears throat> All right, let's go find you.
Do some pottying. After seeing the explosion of poop this morning, I'm just so impressed that Avocado's butt is still like white. Go potty. Go potty. Good boy. Good go potty. Good boy. Little potty. We're still going. We're going. You have that number written down somewhere? Yeah. It's in there. It's very. It's in the sheet of paper or in the little oh. booklet right there. Go to the last page. I circled it. Myra. Go to the last page where all my writing has been. Like... Right, hold on. I know, I know. Good girl, good girl. Potty Rose, you're a good puppy. Good go potty. Go puppy, good go potty. I'm such a good mommy. Yes, you are. Battle. Wakey, wakey. Good morning. Good girl, Myra. You're so on top of it this time. 
But go potty, pedal, pedal. I'm coming, Bella. I'm just pottying puppies real quick. Don't you have your lunch? Your leftover lunch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a Vienna spot because it is so saturated with heat. It is like still wet. Uh, it's still wet and it's mushrooming up, which is crazy because that stuff's been used. Well, like, that's when you know that she that it really was Vienna. Daisy's potty spots. Yeah. I'm just so proud of her though because. Why weird about using a potty tray that's in another room? And so, not sometimes. I think. The big thing in Amazon was that was like our biggest. Will it matter?
Oh, does Dad put the crust off for you? Dad makes better sandwiches than Mom. No. What's up? Yeah. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Don't worry, I'm just trying to play here. Okay, all right. I guess you have all the dogs. Yeah. 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 Oh, I want to get ingredients if we have all those Rice Krispies cereal that are never going to be tasted. I want to get this stuff to like go hog wild with Rice Krispies. Um, I don't know what all the ingredients are. Uh, Let's see.
No, go lay down.
It's one of the missile. The missile.
Hey, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Hey, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hush!
You ready to pie some puppies? Come here, Myra. He's a wiggler. He's a wiggler. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You're a good girl, Myra. Here. A little more. Oh, sweet boy. Sweet boy. Okay. All done. All done. Let's get the other boy. Myra. Myra. <laughs> you are. You are a wiggle worm. Wiggle worm. Good boy. My goodness, your eyes are gonna open soon. Oh, big yawn. Hey, hey, he's not done. 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 Daisy, do you want to potty this one? Here, let me clean him. Good girl. Good girl, doodle. Good girl, good old potty. Yeah, hold on. Girl. Hold on. No. Oh my goodness, my rock. I didn't realize you were missing so much potty. One more. Yeah, panda. Panda, panda. I know, sweets. You are always wiggle warming. Here, can potty her? Potty her? Daisy, you want to potty this one? No potty her? You can potty her? Daisy? No? Can you find her? She had pooey. Daisy. Daisy. Daisy Doodle. Daisy. Come here. Come potty her. You don't want to potty her? Go potty? Go potty! Good girl. Good go potty. You get it? Well, if Daisy's gonna do it, then I guess I'll do it. All right, that's everything. Oh my goodness, you're on someone's head. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
Yeah, it's a tough world on there. I was just thinking about it. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I understand that. Like, yeah, that's frustrating. I see what you mean. Sorry. Right. You know what? Can I have that piece? Yeah, I know. That's right. Well, last year we took it to the Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm right at that. Oh, my God. Get your idea. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Myra let her, let her. Yeah, she she wouldn't keep hiding them, and so Daisy was right here, and so I called Daisy over, and she let her for a moment, and then and then she sat up and started playing. What about the state? It was like uh, three hundred bucks. Which, or not last year we got. Of my mind. Her pain for eight point two more than an hour, but we were like able to make her work so much it wasn't like easy peasy to Right. Um, but the That's not a really good word, but. So much stuff. And I remember
Which is probably where we do pretty good YouTube in general because most channels, unless they have an LLC, are the same. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. 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 I'm super excited to potty Panda that she like Myra she almost like doesn't finish pottying them before she stops. But Daisy just kept potting, like just kept going and going and going and going. And that was when Myra sat up and kind of took over. She realized there was nothing to take over. There's nothing to do.
Lo que va a
Iron ore, okay? Okay. Come on, Dustin. Try them on. Yeah. And I'm going to say, give it back, please. I'm um, sure she'll give it back. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it like that. Okay. And then give her the glasses. And she's going to try them on. And then I'll say, yeah, can I have it back? And she says, okay. And I have it back. And, it, and now you have to bring them back. You can. Put them for one minute, and I'll just say one zero. I'm just going to let her have ten minutes, and I'm going to count the ten to zero. So like ten, ten, nine, eight, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ten, oh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, two, one. And that's how I'm going to do it. And count them. And you're going to have the best routine. And mom, what people do, do you know how? You know how we can watch on the bus? Mm -hmm. So you have to go to the bus, mm -hmm. but um, and go to our seat. Mm -hmm. We have to keep the volume all the off, and we can watch our play on on the app. Or watch. And my basic song. No, on the bus. Oh, on the bus? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably not gonna work. That'll just be good. I don't want to go back to the bus. Seriously. It will be a secret. No, oh, we can't do that kind of secret. I'm, I'm gonna hate it if we're going down the bus. Mom, we can't. Uh, we can't. When it will, when it got closer to our house, I'll just put my phone back in. Okay. Oh. That's how I would do it. There's a there's a boy in the ship that takes his iPad. Um, just a boy in the fist. That would make you the only girl with a phone like that? Mm-hmm. When he gets closer to me and brought his top, I, I, can, I can just turn my book back. Hurts Everything. Please. Thank you, promise. Thank you. Um, 
I won't. I won't. It won't. Well, I trust. I trust you. I just don't. I don't trust everybody else. I don't think you're gonna do anything. No, I just I worry about how other kids will be. Get slapped out of your hands and falls to the ground. Somebody's trying to rough. I just can to say, no one touched my phone. <laughs> Might be hard though if that's the only phone on the board. Well, the, our boy shared his uh, iPad because he plays on games. And uh, and everybody on my seat has to sit like this yeah. to watch a show on YouTube. Oh, uh, let me let me get this started, okay? Anybody back on? Yeah. This is my book. Yep, this is mine. Is that one yours? Yeah. Is that Judas? Yep, this is mine. This is my pizza. Oh, yeah. And this is drawing. And this is drawing. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Um, this is another smiling face. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw on it. Come on. Where's my drawing thing? The drawing area? You want to look for them if they're wherever you said it last. Shut <laughs> up. 
Myra.
then her to return to puppies. Return to puppies. Return to your puppies. Go to your puppies. Go to your puppies. Go to your puppies. Take care of
Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> You're such a good mama. Yes, you are. You're a wonderful mama. Good boy. 
I just want to get a ton of food. I don't think about food. Mm -hmm.
I've been giving it to her, she's been eating it. Oh, do you like this salad,
Matter of fact, grab uh, Daisy's bowl. I did.
Myra.
what I have to do.
I would. Where am I? 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 Oh, I know. I know. Oh, oh, oh. That was kicking me. Oh, no. Oh, no. What you doing, avocado? Where are you going? Why are you going on an adventure? Oh. What do you think, avocado? What you doing? All I gave her was a little bit of cocoa, like cocoa, isn't it? Why are we so vocal? We are just sing song away over here. I know, since you're so unhappy, we're gonna potty you. Good girl. Yeah, mama. Or by the end of the day, she's just like, I clocked out. Yeah. Go potty, good girl. Good go potty. Good go potty, Miss Panda. Good go potty. The ground, the ground is right there. Good boy. Good boy. I'm starting to barely have to like do much. It's like all they they come over the pine and you just barely have to touch them and, and they go. And they go. Nice. Learning. Yeah. Whereas before the first day, you know, it's like really it takes a coaxing. it takes a minute. You really had to coax them. Yeah. Good girl. Good go potty. Good go potty. Good girl. Go potty. Go potty, good girl. You need to be a good girl. Alright. 
Avocado, you are always on your side. You want to potty him? Oh boy, good go potty. Good boy. Good go potty, good boy. Good boy. All right, last but not least. Girls, she's usually pretty obstinate. Good girl, good go potty. Good go potty, good girl. Good girl, good go potty. Until next time. <coughs> Until next time. Here we go. And thank you for your participation, Myra. Your redesign, Myra. Sorry. Ooh. You got this all locked right in. There we go. This should be a little cozy or let's get Um, if anybody's wondering why we keep them in a pool, um, the reason for that is because um, our other option is to move them into a pen, but we want, um, when their eyes open, we don't want them to be straining them. We won't, don't want them to really worry about anything beyond the pool um, because it'll, they'll be about three and a half weeks old when... Um, we start looking up and realize that there's a world beyond the pool. And like when you're a kid and you realize that there's a, a world that exists beyond your neighborhood. And then as they adjust to their vision then um, and their hearing too. So you don't want them out by all the big dogs um, right when their ears are opening. And so we keep them in here until their eyes and ears have opened and they've had some time to adjust. Hey, sweetie.
Oh, look at what you guys almost missed out on. This rose being so cute. Hi Beth, how are you? I hope you and Maggie are doing well. Calliope, if you're still on, how are you? Rally doll, I hope you guys are all doing well. Deb, if you're still on, I think Amber. I know dad is loud. Dad is very loud. Rio, no, Rio, Rio. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh, my God. Nope. Outside. It's okay, sweetie. All right, outside. Hey, soft cookie. Yes, he wanted to come visit. He was running over here, and so I came and kind of just got between him and Myra. He's so, he runs like Paris, so he just kind of like lumbers in. And so he's har he hardly appears threatening, but Myra is very, very protective of the, the babies. She's, um, unlike her last litter, she's not very comfortable with even Daisy being with them. Um, but she did let her potty them earlier. Last time she went like all in head first and burnt out after like after two weeks. Like at this point, she really wanted nothing to do with them. Um, and we had to make her come and see them. But this time around, she's done a really good job of balancing everything. She she has a little spot over here where she lays down outside the pool so she can, you know, lay away from them so she's not hot from the from the heating pad and from all the puppies piling on her. So. And then she plays with them too. If you pay close attention, when they come over and they're like sniffing around at her, she will boop them with her nose. I think she's going to be a really playful, playful mama with this litter.
Um, have any of the pack met the puppies besides Daisy? Um, the only one, um, I think we did bring Rio up close just to like say hi, but we were like completely holding him. Um, and then I think, um, oh, Vienna has come in here and she stayed away, but she kind of looked on from the bed and which is really close by the, the corner of the bed is right behind me. Um, and Myra kind of stares her down, and so she doesn't get any closer. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Everybody's getting upset. What happened? You just all rolling over. You guys look like you had a rough day. And has got one arm on and one off. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Hey, Tang. Um, Macchiato. So Macchiato is also kind of let up, um, looked on. Um, and I think actually we brought him kind of close. Yeah, it was, um, actually, it was, we, it was one, early one morning, um, a couple mornings ago, um, when we were putting all the dogs outside, like, when the kids were getting on the school bus, um, so it was, like, before the stream was on, um, but my cat ran in here, and it was really sweet, um, he, we didn't bring him too close, because Myra was still being really protective, but maybe tomorrow we'll try being, bringing him in just when, um, Myra's outside. So that he can come and sniff them. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Try to remember that. We'll do that as like their two week birthday gift to meet their dad. He's such an awesome daddy dog. Doggy dad. He's the most interactive. He treats the mom and the puppies like they are a little family. It's so sweet. When they're all outside with the other dogs, he kind of runs around her and them and just kind of watches everybody else.
Dane Barbie. Inferno and 2.0. That was used. Maybe. Yours? Why not? Because um, it was, it was, uh, Tango Whiskey is maybe and always has been. Yeah. They're still popping out. So you need, you need extra smalls? The extra smalls. Um, they don't ever pop. Ever. Ever. Huh. Yeah. Well, I have extra smalls. I mean, yeah. They haven't always had the extra smalls. Yeah.
Uh, do you want me to take the upstairs? Oh. Yeah, me do. Want to help?
No, don't, don't. Is it hurt? Yeah, it's Myra's waiting patiently for her. Myra was just sitting there watching me patiently waiting yeah. for her baby bed. Yeah, she is, she is a bit right now. Just watching her. Don't try and potty her right now. <laughs> She's. You want your baby back? Are you able to kind of tell who who's more dominant and who's the Yeah, a little bit. I mean, there's probably a little bit of conflict. Okay. Oops. I'm going with the blue collar. 
Yeah, I'll hear you. No. At least you'll
people will really enjoy these puzzles. I have a whole bunch of ads of them. Mm -hmm. I'll really enjoy these puzzles. Oh, okay. Water bottle. Water bottles on the table, baby girl. Someone has to give me no water. Oh. It's still good. I just want no Oh wait, you know what, I think her bottle's on the island.
Okay, Myra, those are your puppies up there. Those are your puppies squeaking. Myra, come on. Hey. Go on, go down to your puppies. Look at your puppies. Go take care of puppies. Look and look at you. But Myra, you're in the camera. Oh, no, she thinks that there's another adult. Yeah. Myra, go to your puppies. Go to your puppies. Look, pretty. Look, that's you. That's you. See, Myra, that's you. See, and me. Now look, see. See, look, there's my watch. Lighting up. Myra, look. 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 It's us. It's oh, us. Yeah, you know what? Uh, put your put your face in the camera. She can see that. See. Oh. <laughs> really oh. Good girl, Myra. You're such a good girl. It's just us. That's yeah, us. Man, that's so funny. That's, that's us, Rudy. Hush, Rio. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that kind of scary? So strange that she's just now noticing that. It's almost been two weeks. See, that's okay. It's like, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> you are so sweet. I love you so much. You're such a good mama. Keeping your puppies safe from those strange, scary puppies. They can't even open their eyes. Those are the ones that Such are a threat. Almost... Yeah, I was, well, I was looking at it from her perspective, and it probably looks like they're small little creatures up there. Yeah. This is probably so confusing for you. Your brain is probably working overdrive right now. You're a good doggy.
It's
I'm going to tuck the puppies in for the night. I hope we see you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. I hope you guys have a good night.